Hello. Welcome back to Create Series. Season 1, Episode 2. We made it through an episode. Found a place to live. We built the Create Machine. So in this episode, we want to get to that carrot farm and that pumpkin farm. And to do that, we're going to need just a little bit more machinery from the Create mod. We're going to build a little small workshop area just out here in the open for now. Uh, but it'll let us have all the tools that we need to build all the stuff that we need to build those farms. So everything in Create Mod runs from some sort of rotational power. We can, if you remember from last time, we have a water wheel hidden in there. Everything is measured in these things called stress units. So we're going to be building a little workshop and it's going to stress this one little water wheel. Um, but I want to get a few manual machines, so I'm going to go ahead and do it that way. Just so we're able to see the amount of stress units we're generating and how much we need, I'm going to go ahead and make some goggles. So goggles are a little create mod add-on that let you basically inspect um, all these create machines and, and see stats about them. So let's do that. The goggles are two pieces of glass, uh, a golden sheet, and a stream. Okay. Goggles. Okay, with the goggles on. We can now look at this press and we see that at its current speed it takes 128 stress units. Yeah, so the water wheel right now is generating 256 stress units and we're using half of that. So to run all the machines that we want to make today, we're going to need more than that. Okay, so far I've just uh, doubled the speed coming out here so that things will go a little bit faster. Of course, this doubles the stress units I need for the um, for the press. So the press will have to run by itself. Um, but we'll go out here and add a few other machines. To I want to get a mixer so I can make the anisite alloy that's one for one and not be so wasteful. Um, and I also want to make a saw, treat the stripped logs so that we can make an andesite casing because we're going to need a ton of andesite casing. I think those two can probably run together, but not at the same time as the press. If I had some redstone, I'd put a clutch in here and we could turn these on and off. But for now, I'll just leave a blank shaft. Go vertical. I've just added this on. You can see it says this contraption is overstressed. That means it needs more power than the system can provide. Right now, I'm just going to take this out, and now I can run. You can see this is running at 128 stress units, so we've got 128 to work with. We want to add on more. But with the mixer running, that means I can make efficient andesite alloy. Put in equal parts, 19 and 19, we should get 19 alloy out. You have to keep pulling it off this depot manually for now. I'll show you a way around that in just a minute. That'll work. Okay, with this little compact setup, we should be able to mix stuff and create strip logs very easily. Everything should get collected automatically into this barrel. Zinc nuggets and andesite. Yeah, it's getting pulled in there. That's going to be a full stack of that. Uh, if we want to do some logs, we'll throw some input logs into there. So now we can make those quickly and not have to supervise them, which is kind of cool. The other common thing we're going to want to do is smelt things, cook things, and wash things. Now you can smelt and cook, obviously, in vanilla Minecraft, but there are better ways to do it in Create that doesn't use up your fuel. So let's make a station that does all three. I think I should add another water wheel. Let's add another water wheel so that we don't have to keep cutting the power off so much. OK, 
Okay, should have double the output now. Yay, it's the right direction. With that, we have three stations. Put a fire there. This station will cook. Put water here. This station will wash. We need to get a bucket of lava to put there. So that that one will smelt. Put that there. Now we can smelt, cook, and wash. There we go. I'm going to build my first farm kind of down in this pit. glue I need slime balls. In create mod you can actually make slime ball with dough. But we're gonna need a mill. Alright we'll go with that. Throw some wheat in. I said throw some wheat in. All right, so that makes wheat flour, which we can combine with water. Make dough. You combine dough with lime dye, and you get lime balls. tulips work. I think lilies maybe? Hey, one lime die. One. At least we know it works. Okay. We can make one slide ball. That's not enough. Need two for glue. As is apt to happen in early game Minecraft, the project has been halted because of these slime balls. I need two. I made one. One piece of lime dye is holding up the whole project, so I'm going to have to go off and find it. Don't worry, I'll go straight there and back. I won't get distracted. It'll be fine. Hey, I found the jungle. Finally, two of us. Well, that was quite the detour. And I may have stopped a few extra places. Maybe? But I found tulips. Well, let's get that green dye. Hey, four lime die. Why does it have to start raining? Why? Why? I just wanted to record a little blurb and it starts raining. Why? Why? Now that we finally have the glue, we can go finish up that farm. I'm gonna glue up the pieces so that this whole thing will rotate. Okay, 
Okay. All right. Ooh, there we go. Automatic harvesting and replanting. That's what I'm talking about. It's very important to put storage on this farm because you can't carry it all with you. Um, we can plant the rest of this with carrots. <clears throat> These harvesters will swing, or, swing around, driven by the water wheel down here. The harvesters will automatically harvest the plants when they're ripe and replant them. So it's a completely automated farm. It's great. Storage will build up. Uh, because we glued all this together, the storage will build up in here. And then when this portable interface comes to this position, it'll link up with this portable interface. And it'll drop whatever it's collected down in this chest. Pretty cool. There we go. We have the classic 9x9 nine nine farm square. That's all that can be watered by that one water source. Uh, so we could, we could add more water sources and extend the farm because you see the arm reaches a little bit farther. I think we're going to use the overlap areas to get some extra uh, types of farms in. I'm going to maybe put in a little sugar cane. All right, there wasn't much sugar cane in the area. I found two pieces. Yeah, two pieces. But we'll start that and we'll just multiply it over time. Unfortunately, this is a thing that happens with uh, Create Mod a good bit, sadly. You got to arrange your some of your contraptions will just stop. And the only way I know to get them started again is to, to go hit the button and restart it, which destroys half your crop. Not half. It destroys a two section, two row long section of your crops when it's, uh, when, when the machine becomes solid blocks again. If you know of a way to start those back without that, let me know. Okay. We have a fully functional carrot. And a little bit of wheat and sugarcane farm. That's not pretty, but it's functional for now. When we have more resources, we'll, we'll make it prettier. Really, really, we will. This is half of the farms I wanted to make. So next up, I want to make a pumpkin farm. And I'm thinking I'll probably build a little pod around this. And have all my farms in, in pods. That's, that's kind of the current thinking. I need to pick a location for the second pod and I'll build my farm there. Okay, there's farming pod number two. It's pumpkin farm with occasional bamboo. That's our second pod, and that's enough to get our villager breeder and trading hall going. Before we move on to the villager trading hall, I think I'm going to make one more pod over there. I'm going to put some cows and sheep in it so I can get some leather and wool going. There's our third farm. We're going to have utterly ridiculous amounts of leather. We'll be basking in wool. We built the other farms. Let's do a stock check and see how we're doing. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. That looks good. All right. Okay. We're going to get more bamboo than we probably need, but that's okay. Put a composter here just to uh, take the seeds, the extra seeds we get, because we're not going to use them. Put them in the compost and dump them back into the chest. Now that the farms are operational, I'm going to go do a little caving to let the farms build up a little stock so we're not waiting on them when we do the village breeder. I don't want to get a ton of the resources. 
that are in my cave that are in my cave system because I don't have fortune or silk touch. But I'll get enough to make the next few machines. Mostly iron. I need zinc. Double geode. Decided to clean one of these out. It's going to generate so many shards. I'll probably use the shards for tinted glass for probably a mob farm. Well, that was a pretty good session. I got almost a stack of iron. Got a little bit of zinc, found a geode, found two geodes actually. I cleared one out uh, so that the shards will have opportunity to grow. And I picked up a little redstone. So yeah, a good run. I think that's going to do it for this episode. It was a bit of a grindy episode, but we got so much done. And our base is starting to produce resources for us. I can't wait to get started on the villager trading hall. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Oh, come on. You know what? It's not turned on. Nobody saw that.